Hello, hello, and welcome back to Ask Your Pain Doc. In this channel, we talk about traditional and alternative treatments for pain. Today, we're going to talk about a very painful disease called postherpetic neuralgia, or severe persistent pain after shingles. If you find my content helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notification. Let's do this. Postherpetic neuralgia, the most common complication of shingles, is defined as severe pain after herpes zoster for at least 90 days after the rash. Shingles is a very painful, blistering skin rash caused by reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. When the pain caused by shingles doesn't go away after a rash and blister clears up, this condition then called postherpetic neuralgia. Postherpetic neuralgia is the most common shingles complication. It occur when the shingles outbreak damages the nerve. This is a very painful condition and is very difficult to treat. The damaged nerve can send the right message from the skin to the brain. The messages become very confused. This results in chronic severe pain that can last for months. According to studies, about 20% of people who get shingles also develops postherpetic neuralgia. Additionally, this condition is more likely to occur in people over the age of 50. Shingles typically cause a painful blistering rash. Postherpetic neuralgia is a complication that only occurs in people who have already had shingles. Severe pain that continues for more than one to three months in the same place that shingles occurred. Even after the rash goes away, burning sensation on the skin, even from the slight pressure, sensitivity to touch and to temperature. Age is a major risk factor for getting both shingles and postherpetic neuralgia. Risk begins to increase at age of 50. People who had acute pain and severe rash during their shingles also have a higher risk of developing postherpetic neuralgia. People who had lowered immune system due to conditions like HIV, Hodgkin's lymphoma, or any other type of cancer also have increased risk of developing shingles. The risk of shingles is 20 to 100 times greater in this group. Most of the time, your doctor is able to make a diagnosis of postherpetic neuralgia based on your history and physical examinations. Tests are not necessary in confirming the diagnosis. Treatment start by topical medication, including capsaicin cream, a cream that is extracted from hot chili pepper, lidocaine patches or cream, which is a numbing medication, over-the-counter medication like Tylenol, Advil. You can also use stronger medication like codeine, hydrocodone, or oxycodone. Tricyclic antidepressants are often prescribed to treat depression, but these medications are also effective in treating postherpetic neuralgia. Tricyclic antidepressants can have side effects like dry mouth and blurry vision. It usually takes about four to six weeks to see any effect. Commonly used tricyclic antidepressants are including amitriptyline, imipramine, nortriptyline, and desipramine. Anticonvulsants are also prescribed to treat seizures, but they can also be used to treat postherpetic neuralgia pain as well. Commonly used anticonvulsants include carbamazepine, pregabalin or Lyrica, gabapentin or Neurontin, and phenytoin. Yes, absolutely. Two doses of herpes zoster vaccine call Shingrix reduced the risk of shingles by more than 
The vaccine also protects against post-herpetic neuralgia. The Center of Disease Control and Prevention recommends healthy people ages 50 and above to get the Shingrix vaccine. Post-herpetic neuralgia is a treatable and preventable disease. Most cases disappear in about one to two months. In rare cases, it can last longer than a year. If you're older than 50, it is advisable to get vaccine as soon as possible. It can prevent you against shingles and post-herpetic neuralgia. If you do develop post-herpetic neuralgia, you have many other treatments options to treat your pain. Talk to your doctor to find the best treatment for you, and I hope you feel better. Thank you for watching this video. Please send me your comments and feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all soon.